Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Capricorn, today will do your bi-weekly reading. These are next two weeks from the time you view this video or from the first going to the 15th of July. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs for all of you. Take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. Let's hear love, so what we got for you for this two-week period, what the predictions, who you are dealing, what you need to be aware, of, and what basically comes for you, what the predictions are surrounding you. Capricorn, today I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle, messages from the oracles. I have the Lenormand messaging, and as well, I have the Taroyal here. Let's see here, loves. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs for the next two weeks. We have Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle. Number 50, there is movement. I definitely say here that it's kind of, I got the situation, I know where I gotta go. Let's see what's next. Beautiful energy here for you, Capricorn. And underneath we have White Raven Spirit trust in the magic there's something here you need to believe that yes that gonna happen yes i can do that yes i can move forward there's not not such a thing that you cannot do in this world there's something here about you to learn and to expand in your own energy also, there is a lesson to be learned and moved forward. And that could be in a love situation or into somebody who you really want. For some of you Capricorns, you might deal with a fire sign right here or a Pisces. I see Leo Pisces. But I feel here there is a good relationship you always wanting. You manifest it and it is coming absolutely there's very beautiful energy coming for you capricorns and i want you to be aware of that let's see here what's the energy surrounding you what's the tarot and the spirit want to share with you and i want to thank each of you who are joining the channel who are always here either you are new either you are always here i welcome and i'm very grateful and thankful for all of you Let's see here, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus Signs. What's your overall energy for this bi-weekly energy for the next two weeks? Six of Swords. There's definitely movement. For some of you, there's a lot of travel going on. But I feel here, for some of you, you even think to change wherever you are you know, in the world. You want to change. You want to expand. For some of you, yes, that was a restriction for quite a while, but I feel here you have big plans going for the future. You know very clearly now where you gotta go. Good job, loves. My deal here with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I have a Libra, but I feel here you want stability in your life. You wanna make it right for yourself. Let's see here, two of swords, magician blocking off whatever is from your past for some of you you block a water sign or i feel here you're not as much as emotional you try to adapt to a situation you are in or you won't be in yeah i feel here you you are strongly connected either with the air sign either water i see water energy strongly yeah, Pisces energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That was some hurt. I don't feel you talking with that person. That person is single. Piscean energy all over the place. Sag energy, Libra energy strongly. Leo, and that's it, loves. I feel here you, you know what's going on deep, deep inside, but it's like whatever hurt, Spirit says, take your hands and your heart and move forward. I don't feel this person feeds you up. And I feel here you wanted something tangible with them, but was not reciprocated because it ended to be hurt. 
and you kind of hang in there for quite a while now could be a year could be two but I feel here you know what is going on and to move forward also as like for one part you are trying to heal for another part you feel like if I move forward maybe they will come it's time for you to get clear that you need to move on that is overcome any obstacle energy in here you don't need to stay maybe yes maybe no there is something new and there is something old stuff for you to learn and follow your intuition if you don't follow your intuition you're still stuck whatever you are right now and as you see here we have five six major arcana in such a small reading capricorn there is a strong lesson a strong spiritual lesson for you to learn that whatever is not open to you you need to let it go also this person who you've been dealing in the past i don't see them around you i don't see you talking to them because it's silence from your part it's silence from them I feel here they manipulate this energy very very much or their connection as like it was whatever they fed you was an illusion was not the true it's like you've been the truthful one I don't feel dumb being that way but I don't see both of you not communicating but from your part yes being a lot of hurt whatever they've done they could act like a single person they've been involved with somebody else and also you got to get clear that you need to move forward there is healing but there is that like fear to move forward because you you don't feel quite there it was a hard time for you but let's see here why this person was unavailable emotionally give me messages here they could be married they could be in a commitment here with somebody else and I feel here that was a commitment bothered them if it was a single person they wanted commitment quick and you were just like let's see let's take our time let's know ourselves like this person was not as like could start quick end it quick and it's kind of my way or no way let's see one more card with this two of swords yeah i feel here there were other people involved here i don't feel this person was entirely single i see gossip around this energy and around them okay if they were committed i feel here they were not very happy in their commitment although they acted very single it's like i'm single i'm single hangman for you loves you are single awesome financially awesome secure i feel here you've been focusing on your work mostly and as well as the healing and it's like i made a lot of plans for the future i'm following you might have air in the chart capricorn but i feel here now you are clear to move forward although it's it's a little like uh, i'm not sure but i'll follow my intuition sometimes your intuition is scares you going things three of swords Two of Wands is a choice to stay in a hurt energy or in a healing energy. Knight of Swords, yep. Moving forward from some hurt. Moving forward, Capricorn, you might have air in the chart, okay? But there is a lot of feelings. It's like feelings are not matching with your mind. Moon. You don't really trust. It's like you. You get attracted to people who promise the moon and everything, but they are not stick with you forever. Also, it's like you are afraid to not go in another relationship 
to be in and out. Spirit says, take your time and heal completely. Okay? To not fall in the same patterns as you used to. Okay? Because if you heal completely, you will not get another same BS as you used to. Also, there is a tendency here for Capricorn who tend to jump in relationships before like having that like the intro energy. It's like I'm jumping, I'm going, I'm quickly, gotta be easy and things like that. And it's like, take your time. Don't jump into something which later you might regret. Take your time. Uh-huh. Yep. Because I feel here there's a Capricorn who falls in love and want to be very quick with somebody and might end up hurt. That needs to be revised. You might not see that that is in your genes or in your DNA because you really want to have that real person and in the next you get hurt. So your lesson Capricorn here or your homework gotta be don't jump into any relationship. It's kind of explore a little bit more the territory and then go in just to not get hurt for yourself or your feelings and I feel here that, that there are things here you gone fast, you do fast but you don't need to. Give yourself time. Also people are attracted to you, people are attracted to your energy because it's a very good energy and you might feel this is the one, I have love, I have passion this is the one I am attracted and sometimes there needs to be a shift, a change into those things, okay? Because going quick, fast, you might not see a lot of things about them, okay? Let's see here, one advice, look deep. Again, Virgo energy, it's all about going deep into those things. To not fall in the same pattern. And Spirit says, be first with whoever you meet as a friend. Be first friends. Yeah. Know them. Know them. You know, know their childhood, know their roots, know them, how they are as a friend or how they've been till they got to you okay but look deep okay to not fall in the same things and as well then later on move forward if you feel it's worth it because i feel here if you jump into a relationship and not knowing their history and i totally get that we cannot turn back the time but we need to be aware what they've been through what they are dealing right now what they are looking for there is a lot of questions you might ask to know them before going in a relationship with them and that will make you a different person okay alrighty Capricorns this is what I got for you. Thank you very much for asking, for coming in here. I'm, I'm just like asking questions here. Thank you for tuning in with this reading and very much blessings for this next two weeks and take care of you. Love and light. Bye for now.